Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to enable the screensaver for stubborn apps on your Nexus player. Now, some apps, like Netflix for instance, refuse to load the system screensaver. This can lead to burn in on your big screen TV if you fall asleep binge watching House of Cards or something like that. So instead of waiting on these troublesome apps to be fixed, let's make it to where the screensaver always comes up after a preset period of time. Now, to get this one going, you need to be set up for side loading apps on your Nexus player. But if you need any help with that aspect, just check out my full tutorial at the link in the description below. Then next up, you'll need Android's foremost automation app, Tasker. If you don't own the full version, there's a free trial APK that you can grab from the tutorial. But the full version of Tasker can be remotely installed from the web version of the Play Store. Just head to play.google.com slash store from any internet connected device, then search Tasker and make sure your Nexus player is selected when you click the install button. Then once you have the app installed, take a quick trip into the settings menu on your Nexus player. From here, scroll over and select Accessibility. Then arrow down and click Services. After that, select the Tasker entry, then set it to On, and click Agree. With all that out of the way, head back out to the main settings menu and go to Apps. From here, scroll through until you find Tasker, then select it and click Open. Now the first part of this setup will simply be establishing a variable. From the Profiles tab here, click the plus button to begin. Next, choose Application, then select only the Home screen entry, and click Back. When you do that, it'll ask you to associate a task with this profile, so click New Task here. Next, give the task a name if you'd like, but that's optional. Just make sure you click the check mark when you're done. On this next screen, hit the plus button again, then select Variables, followed by Variable Set. The aim here is to create a variable and have it set to a particular value every time you're on your home screen. This will effectively serve as a starting point for your screensaver profile. You can name this variable anything you want, but for simplicity's sake, I'll just call it Variable. But make sure to type this in all caps so that it becomes a global variable. After that, click the next field and enter a value that this variable will be set to each time you're on your home screen. I'll go with one here, but again, this is arbitrary. With that done, hit the back button twice to head back out to the main menu. From here, long click the variable set portion of your task, then select add exit task. Again, click new task, then hit the check mark. And again, hit the plus button at the bottom of the screen and go to variables and variable set. This time though, you can just click the little tag icon to the right of the name field, then simply select the variable you created earlier. After that, arrow down to the next field, then enter a different value. I went with 1 last time, so I'll go with 0 now. Now if you back out to the main screen again, you'll see your finished profile. Basically what this one does is set your variable to 1 when you're on your home screen, then set it to 0 when you leave the home screen. Now that we've established that, let's create another profile to put our variable to use. Again, hit the plus button, but this time click State. From here, go to Variables and then Variable Value. Now we want this profile to become active only when we're on our home screen, since the screensaver actually works there already. So click the Tag button at the top of the screen and select the variable that you just created. After that, click the Value field, then enter the number 0, since that's what the variable is set to when you leave your home screen. Next, hit the Back button once, and again click New Task, and hit the check mark. From here, hit the Plus button, then choose Task, and Wait. This will serve as a little checkpoint to make sure you didn't just pop in and out of your home screen real quick. So use the slider underneath the Seconds header to adjust this to something like 10 seconds. After that, click Back, then hit the Plus button again. This time, go to Task and choose Stop. Next, click the Plus button to the right of the If option, then click the Tag icon and select your variable again. From here, head to the Value field, then enter the number 1. With that out of the way, let's back out and see what we have so far. This profile will only become active when you leave your home screen, but then it'll wait for 10 seconds and check to see if you're back on the home screen, in which case it'll stop doing what it's doing. Now you may want to repeat these last two steps and have it check periodically to see if you've gone back to your home screen, and that would only be a matter of adding another wait interval and following it up with a stop command if your variable value has changed to 1. But that's up to you, so I'll skip it and show you how to wrap this whole thing up. First, add another wait period by clicking the plus button and going to Task, and then Wait. 
For this one, you'll want to set it to something like three hours. Basically, as long as the longest movie you'll think you'll be watching on Netflix, for instance. So adjust the hours slider, and when you're done, hit the back button. Click plus again, then go to task, and choose stop to add another bailout point. From here, click the plus button next to the if field, then click the tag icon and select your variable. Head to the value field again, then enter the number one, and click back. Next, click the plus button again, but this time go to App and choose Launch App. From here, select the Daydream app, which is essentially the screensaver. After that, hit the plus button next to the If category again, then click the tag icon and select your variable. From here, set the value to 0, and then you're all set. Just back all the way out of Tasker at this point, and your profile will become active. As soon as you leave your home screen, the countdown will start, and when that time is up, your screensaver will come on regardless of if the app you're using is blocking it. And I know this was a lot to keep up with, but if you'd rather follow along at your own pace, just check out the full tutorial at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!